Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be looking at the find function in Excel. So in the usual fashion we'll step through the function, all its various parts, and then work through an example within the Excel application. Okay, so the find function. The purpose of the function is to get the location of text from within a string. Uh, it's made up of three parts. Uh, the first part is our find text, so this is the text we, want to, we wish to find. The second is within text, so the text to search within. So to summarize these two points really here is we're going to firstly enter some text that we want to search for and the second part is um, a reference or another text string that we want to search for our find text. And the third point we have here is the start number. So this is optional, uh, it's the starting position in the text to search and the default value is number one if we don't uh, end, uh, enter a value. Um, so the reason you might want to change this is, again, many scenarios. Uh, you could want to start at the beginning, the middle, or the um, a later point, or a different point in your text string. Uh, a real basic example that comes to mind, if for some reason you're wanting to find um, where the where a comma appears here within the within text um, but again for whatever reason that your within text starts um, on every occasion with a comma um, you wouldn't maybe want to find that very first comma but you might want to find the next um, comma that appears in that string so if you entered uh, your starting position is number one, obviously it's going to keep giving you the result of number one because that's where a comma appears. But obviously if you've entered um, the position number two, then obviously your, uh, your search will begin from position number two of the within text uh, and therefore missing out that first comma that you know is always going to appear and that you don't want to count. Hopefully that wasn't uh, a confusing scenario. Uh, this will make more uh, sense. Maybe um, it's fairly basic terms is to always just use the number one um, as our default. Uh, we will be using that in this example. Uh, we will be doing some later videos in which we will be using the find function on a, on a bit more advanced or intermediate level in which uh, we will get into why or more scenarios where that start number being different is of great use. Um, but I guess just to recap on start number the default value is the number one, and for this demonstration we'll be using number one as the, um, the starting point of our search. And lastly, we've got the find function in its entirety at the bottom there. So you can see the three parts. So we've got the find, what the find text, so the text we want to look for, within text, which is the text we want to search from within, and lastly, what the start number. So that's our start position to start searching from in the within text. And as we just now covered quite extensively, uh, the default for start number is number one, and that is our advisory to use number one, um, that value of number one to start off with. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll now jump over to Excel and work through some examples. Okay, so here we are in Excel to go through an example of how the find function works. So what we've got is in column A, we've put down the value that we want to find, or the text that we wish to find. Uh, with a couple of different examples. We've got some, uh, some text that we want to have be searched. So we want to obviously search for these values in column A in those values for column B. And in column C, we've just uh, visualized the starting position uh, from which we want to start our search from, just to help um, elaborate on the points we started to discuss in terms of the, um, the start position and how that defaults um, to the value of one. Okay, so for our first one here, um, we can just start entering our find function to show the different results that we get. So we want to look for the uh, the J in the name James. So to do that, we do equals and our find formula and open brackets. So simply we want to find this J and we want to know, find it in this text string here in column B. Uh, so we want to know where it starts from or where that, what the position of that J is another way to put it. Um, because in this example, we are not going to put a starting position. As you can see in column C, that field is grayed out. And as it's an optional, we don't actually need to do in the formula. So all we need to do in the find function or formula for this example is A2 comma B2. So to find this, the, the value in A2 in the, in the cell reference of B2. And if you hit enter, 
you can see we get the result of 1, so number 1. And that is because, well, what's going to happen is because we haven't entered a value here um, to start position, it's automatically going to default to the number 1. So it will start from the position number 1 in the text string of James. And as you know, or as we can see, uh, the J is indeed the first in the first position of that string James. So there's obviously a total of five positions um, in, the, in the name James, J A M E S, or five, and obviously the J is in that first position. Okay, so for these next examples, we will be putting the uh, value of one in here um, just to show you, obviously, and get you used to that the, the function in its entirety with all three parts. So for this one, we now want to find the A in James. So the formula is exactly the same. So we just do into find, open our brackets. Uh, we want to find the letter of A in the text string of James, what is in the cell reference B3, comma, and this time we're gonna enter our position. So the number one, so we want to start our search from position number one in our text string. Hit enter. And we can see we've now got the value of 2. And the reason we've got value of 2 is because A is in the second position uh, of our text string of James. Um, for our next, and that's, that'd be exactly the same scenario. So if we changed our A here to M, our formula update, and you can see our result is now the number 3. If, again, another extreme, if we put the letter S, it will now give us the position of 5 because it's in that fifth position there. So also what we can do um, when we're doing our search, we're not limited to just single letters. We can also do um, obviously an actual text string. And that's what we're going to do in this one. So we'll just enter our formula one more time or another time. Uh, find, open brackets. And this time we want to find the text string ES. Uh, obviously in our same text string, but this time in row four. And once again from position number one. So let's hit enter. And we can see we've got the, the value of four. So this works exactly the same as if we just wanted to search for the letter of E, E being in the fourth position. But because we can see here that the the string of E, S, again, like I say, the, the letter E on its own is in possession or starts in position um, number four of our string here. Okay. So what we also have is another, a last example here. And what we're going to do this time is look for uh, the word the, so T-H-E, in this sentence here, or text string, of the tree in the field. Uh, the reason we bring this example in is because uh, the find function is case sensitive. So as you will see, and we enter our formula of find, open brackets, and we now search for the lowercase word of the into our text string. And then obviously our position starting from number one and close brackets. You can see it's found in position number 13. So this um, helps us with a couple of things. So if there's a space um, or spaces present in your text string, then that's going to count those as characters. And we can see the lowercase the is in the 13th position. So we can count that with one, two, three, space four, five, six, seven, eight, space nine, 10, 11, space 12 and then the T of V being in position number 13. So that's just one to be wary of because if we were to change this to our uppercase T here then again our formula will change or our result will change so I say to the position number one because now it's obviously different so it's actually starting position number one rather than later on in the formula. Okay so we hope that was um, once again a good video and you were able to get um, a lot from that and learn the find function or if you have been exposed to it before you know a little bit more about it. Um, if you haven't done already as we always do uh, say at the end of our videos please do subscribe to this channel. Uh, we've got lots of videos coming out um, kind of on a daily basis nearly but at least four times a week and we've got some great content coming up soon so please do subscribe and hit that bell button to make sure you're notified of when we have our new uh, videos coming up. We also do have a website and Facebook page, so links to those are in the description below. And feel free to reach out to us by one of those means, or if you have any questions at all, an alternative option is to just drop us a comment underneath this video, and we will get back to you with any questions or thoughts you have uh, as soon as we can. Uh, if we don't speak to you before, we will see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much.